This video will cover Dirac notation as a shorthand for integrals that frequently come up in quantum mechanics. So we'll start off with <clears throat> what we call a ket vector, which is a vertical line followed typically by a single character, usually a number or a letter. So n usually would be the most general case, and then a kind of bracket on the right there, a greater than sign. And this is equal to psi n of x. This is a de generally uh, letter here is a specific, uh, specific eigenfunction of the Hamiltonian. So we call this a ket vector, being vertical bar and then a greater than symbol on the right. Uh, correspondingly, we have the symbol, the less than symbol m vertical bar. This represents the complex conjugate of psi m. So this would be called a bra vector, and the two of those together, as you see, bra ket, these form a bracket together, bra ket notation forming a bracket. So when we put these two together, when we put a bra and a ket together, that represents an overlap integral. So that's the integral from minus infinity to infinity with respect to x of the complex conjugate of psi m times psi n. So in one dimension, this is integration over all of x. If these were three-dimensional, if these were three-dimensional functions, this would be a three-dimensional integral. It's integrating over all space for whatever the dimensions of your particular uh, wave function are. All right, so that would be a bracket or an overlap integral. Uh, this type of integral and kind of expectation value, or what we're going to call a matrix element integral is the following. So if we have bra followed by operator followed by ket, this is equal to the integral over all space of the complex conjugate of psi m times the operator a acting on psi n. So this is the same integral up here, but now with the operator acting on the wave function, which is not the complex conjugate. All right, so this allows us to do nice shorthand things that save us from writing integral minus infinity to infinity dx everywhere over and over again. So the bracket nn is equal to a normalization integral. That's the integral from over minus infinity to infinity with respect to x or however many dimensions you have to integrate over. Psi star n of x, psi n of x. Our normalization integral, uh, the bracket nn would be equal to 1 for a normalized wave function. Uh, for an expectation value integral, we have n a n for that matrix element, that expectation value integral, integral minus infinity to infinity, psi n star times a acting on psi n. For our formal definition of an expectation value, where we're not necessarily sure that we have a normalized wave function, this goes from being a long-handed expression of this integral divided by this integral to now just being n a n over n n. Much more convenient, much more quick to write, a uh, lot less subnotation to write, and if we know the definition of these integrals, we understand the connotations of this notation. And finally, the definition of a Hermitian operator, we can condense from being two long integrals like this to being m a n equals n a m quantity complex conjugate.